right now what we're seeing in uh, Myanmar in general is a uh, a shortage of supply and certainly an increase in demand. Um, basically there's three state-owned refineries and the refineries are not producing what the demand is um, needing in, in uh, Myanmar in general. Therefore the Ministry of Energy has decided that it needs to start looking at import, uh, particularly in the downstream sector and that's why they've decided to allow foreign participation just like they have in the upstream market into Myanmar um, in order to meet the increasing demand. We have a, a real sense of a real issue being that we don't have uh, fuel conscious um, vehicles in, in Yangon. We're not using um, motorcycles or scooters. Those have been banned. They're supposed to be re uh, lifting that ban. But at this time they're using very old um, secondhand cars uh, buses that are very old and none of them are as fuel efficient as what you would see in more developed jurisdictions. So because of that uh, there's certainly a, a, an influx of demand and because of that the Ministry of Energy wishes to um, allow foreign participation in that. In terms of the types of arrangements um, to enter into Myanmar it really would be at the discretion of the Ministry of Energy. What they are doing is they're publishing um, invitations uh, to tender on through Facebook actually um, to encourage participation and so that's how they're actually distributing from a public standpoint they're using Facebook as that medium to do so um, and in addition the foreign investors can look at it from a, a private sense if they want to um, have some sort of distribution channel for certain products then they would go through the Ministry of Energy and they would work through the state-owned enterprise there called MPPE as well. It, it really would uh, be dependent on how they're entering or wish to enter the market. If they're going through uh, or responding to an invitation to tender uh, basically there will be a vetting process as they submit to, from that invitation tender so there will be basically what I would call kind of a beauty contest to look at what the products are or, or what your tra their track record is what they have done um, in other emerging markets and so there will be some sort of um, committee that would review that and so there would be a vetting of that process in terms of if they're going to be forming uh, local joint ventures with local businesses or, or whatnot then there would not be however their products also would need to be licensed through MPPE as well so there is um, while it might not necessarily reflect back on the foreign investor their products do need to be licensed in order to come into the country Well, we've seen the upstream market uh, open up. Uh, several years ago, they had um, blocks offshore, blocks in shallow and deep water, um, also on onshore blocks where uh, they were looking for foreign participation. Those arrangements were made in terms of awards and a production sharing contracts. Now we're seeing the Ministry of en Energy um, also um, request uh, foreign participation in the downstream sector again it's because of the supply demand aspect for fuels in Yangon and Myanmar uh, uh, entirely at this point. It's, it's difficult to say certainly the different ministries and the government itself uses um, discretionary power depending on the size of the investment and the type of activity. Um, one, one area that investors are hoping there'll be some sort of uh, relaxation in terms of policies, trading and distribution. At this point it's still in certain sectors um, you need to either form a joint venture with the government or you need to form a joint venture with a local Myanmar company or citizen in order to engage in that activity. Certainly from a foreign investor standpoint um, if they could do it 100% on their own they would much prefer to um, enter Myanmar in that capacity. However, it's been a government policy at this point to restrict it in particular sectors, namely in the downstream market.